<laughs> if anything. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it's me. It's not you. That's what I said. Uh, wow. This is this is the Jodeci episode. Episode seven. <laughs> Are wow, we, wow, are we, wow. Are we live? We're live? Oh, we're live. We're live. Okay. We're on. We're on. Yo, we are Hips super out. live. This <laughs> is That One Piece Talk. My name is Larry. Lawrence. Seven. And this is That One Piece Talk, <laughs> episode seven. And we're doing a lot of weird stuff right now, as you can see. Uh, we decided to go uh, in a Jodeci route because we just felt like it. Like... <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got baby oil on. <laughs> I asked them if they wanted baby oil. Like, I literally went up to, like, the Walgreens and was like, yo, let me get, get this, this baby, baby oil. And, and, and then got- the guy was like, that's it? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And my shirt's open. Just like that. Just, Just like, like this. Just like that. Just like this. And he was like, all right. <laughs> He was like, you got a Walgreens card? I was like, give me my <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> give me my baby oil. Give me my baby oil. He was like, you want a bag? I was like, <laughs> you know how little this thing is? <laughs> now, if you guys want to see behind-the-scenes footage of Larry lubing up <laughs> for the episode, we have it exclusively. Oh, but, you got, but you guys sign on to the Patreon. On the, on the Patreon. <laughs> the Patreon. It's going to be on the Patreon. <laughs> Sebastian was putting it on me, too. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't. Shay gonna see this and be like, mm-mm. Yes. mm-mm. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. man. Let's get to some One Piece talk. I know you're distracted by my nipple right now. But like... <laughs> All right. Let's get into that One Piece chapter. Uh, it was... Oh! <laughs> I thought this was... <laughs> just, just go through with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's just keep going. Yeah, that was loud. Well, you can even <laughs> keep this. <laughs> like, Why not? Let it be mad natural. Yeah. All right, you want to continue it, Marv? Yeah, let's do it. Let's All right, bet. It. Bet, let's go. Uh, yeah, we were just doing a test run, but it turned out I forgot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm so slippery right now. All right. All right, all right, all right. So back to that one piece talk. Um Chapter nineteen, uh, chapter ten, nineteen. We are going to review it. Uh, Seb is going to take the reins on this one. But overall, let's get into it. So, what was the cover uh, cover page? Wasn't there, there like a color page? There yeah. was a couple uh, cover pages <clears throat> because it was One Piece's twenty fourth anniversary. Uh-huh. So twenty four years of One Piece. That is Jesus insane, mm-hmm. <laughs> bro. Twenty four years. Four years. Yeah. I'm, Insane, man. Apparently, <clears throat> they did something with like Japan's version of NASA, and they go into space in some <laughs> way. The cover, the original cover, is like Luffy with a space suit on, mm-hmm. um, and there's a bunch of other stuff. They have the Where's Waldo. Apparently, it's called Wally in other countries. Mm-hmm. Super Where's, American. Where's, Where's Waldo Wally? all day? Yeah. Um, and they had this super cool like spread of. Everybody on Onigashima and a couple of people who aren't on Onigashima. Yeah. Like Sanwa Wolf and like uh, I think there was a couple people that weren't <laughs> from Onigashima. I found Waldo like four times. So he was <laughs> oh, on you really there. did it. I didn't do it too hard, but like he's here and there and there. Like he's he's noticeable, not crazy noticeable, but he's there. Okay. But they had like <clears throat> every single person who's on Onigashima mm. in this cover art. All so right. it was really cool, like just looking through it, trying to find beast pirates, trying to find straw hats and stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> they should have had a fine panda man. You can see. Oh man, they should yeah, have. Yo, he's probably on here I guarantee somewhere. you, he's in there. He has he's to probably, be. He, he has to be, be in there. He has to be in here panda somewhere. Panda man. All right, skip that uh, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then they had another cover page, uh, it's color spread. Jinbei was on it, which is always good because, you know, it's finally a straw hat now. They had a whale. Everybody, you know, beach time. Wait, where are you? Where is you reading this at? It's on Shonen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so it's on that. the Shonen app too. Yeah. Uh, I really like the color page because I feel like Nami and Robin always steal the show in some type of way, uh, and Frankie. Like yeah. every time there's a color page, it's like always those three, mm-hmm. and then like Chopper will sneak in there and like be a little cute and do something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really always look forward to those four people in uh, color chapters. Other than that, the most boring people, believe it or not, happens to be like Zoro and Sanji. 
on color pages, they're really never ever doing anything. Yeah, yeah, Sonic's yeah. always like either serving people food or simping. Like those are really the two, unless it's very specifically geared to them doing something, like unless they're playing a sport mm. or something. If they're just hanging out, he's either serving people food or simping. There's no really anything else that he'll be doing. And yeah. Zolo's always either sleeping or eating. Yeah, yeah, or so, drinking. Yeah, whatever. Wait. Let's skip that. Let's go to the next one. You, all right. um, I'm so impatient. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm always impatient. <laughs> it's because you got all that lube on. Man. Yeah, man. You're I'm ready sliding. to go. I'm always ready. You just to go. sliding through. I will slide on his table to you. <laughs> Please don't. Marvel probably be like, all right, you got to clean that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a part of what we what you paid for. Um, and then yeah, we get right into the chapter. Um, apparently, Queen is like shooting mad beams at Sanji. And Sanji makes a remark that's like foreshadowing <laughs> for what we're going to see later mm -hmm. in the chapter um, about how this constant barrage of Marines, is, of beams is like, seems like something Frankie would do or his tech, like he would like this yeah. for, you know, himself. And then you don't, you don't get much beyond that. I don't know if Sanji dodged those or if he got hit. It seems and, like, it, most likely he's dodging them. Probably. Yeah, he seems like he's yeah. chilling. Yeah, he he, does, he looks like he's taking it easy. Yeah. Like and the, the 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 scratches that he has already on him and the bruises, I guess, I feel like that was before. Yeah. Like yeah. whatever. He was like, getting yeah. Black Maria was yeah. taking yeah. off yeah. on him yeah. pretty so hard, yeah. He's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it cuts to Zolo. Shout out to Sanji fans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shout out to Sanji fans. It's All about right. time for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um, then it cuts to Zolo. Um and his extreme bandage situation. Uh, I, when I first read it, I thought he was scared of needles or something. Yeah, I, that, that's I how thought the I, same thing. That's how I read mm -hmm. it, and I thought it was like a nod to like Goku because he's scared of needles, but I guess not. Um, and they were basically just struggling to get the bandages off in order to actually inject Zolo with the needles. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Wait, who wrapped him in bandages? Was it Sanji? It was Sanji. Yeah, it was Sanji. Yeah, it was Sanji. Yeah, it was Sanji. <clears throat> He did a really good job. Yeah, apparently, like... <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> Listen, the dude broke almost all of the bones in his body, from what they said. And, so. and Sanji's also <clears throat> hitting Zolo with... He was know, sleeping. And Zolo's just like, I don't feel nothing. Uh, you still sleeping. Yeah. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah. And then, you know, it's just cool little interaction between Zolo and Chopper's peoples trying to get the medicine so that he can fight again. I like that. And then you cut... To the Polar Tang, <laughs> the Laws of Submarine. That's what and it's called? I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every, I, I really enjoy every time Oda brings this out into the ocean, and he does the iconic uh, Japanese wave. I forgot what it's called, like the painting. Yeah. It's so oh, it's relevant cool. every time he does it. I feel like he just tries to always bring homage to it. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Especially in Wano. He didn't yeah. do it as much in any of the other arcs. No, of course not. Wano yeah, specific. Yeah, yeah. But Luffy's <laughs> back um, calling for meat. I didn't... What I didn't meat really get... Meat. <laughs> <laughs> what Take I didn't that rubble off. What I didn't get is like... I get that Law is like the best doctor you could have. There's not a single other person <laughs> who knows how to do basic CPR on this like... I'm going to be real, bro. The <laughs> fact that they didn't know how to do CPR, it's like, it shows how much well, Law is his them. crew. No, yeah. they, they, they pushed the water out before, but it's just like, they don't know how to deal with uh, somebody who is drowning at all. Like, you're on, you're in a submarine. Half way. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, at some point, somebody who's not Law has to be able to do this. Yeah. Half way. And like, you would think the people that stayed behind would be those people. Yeah, like, Law not. just is a one man army. Yeah, at this point. Like yeah, he's, he's just, he just doesn't have his, his, his crew is looking on. like it's not. Oh, Beppo. Be yeah, man. Beppo. He can go I like, like long and stuff. Yeah, but is Beppo being chopper? No. Ah, probably not, but no. You better yeah. respect yourself. Yo, <laughs> Shulong Beppo, is maybe? washing Beppo. Even I though I like he Beppo, would. he not beating him. Listen, he's like Law's right hand. Chopper's like six, seven pirates down on the, the totem pole. I feel you, bro. But mm -hmm. Beppo is like not beating Chopper, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, with, with a full moon? What? Don't matter. Sulong? Chopper just easily easy work? No? No problems? No. I mean, he Beppo. could just go into monster form. And just Yo, wreck him. Is that fast enough to deal with? Yeah, but we think it's like Chopper needs to be getting like you know one on one fights and fighting people. Beppo yeah. is listen. Like, I got my money. He's at best, a background character. I got my money on <laughs> Chopper. I'm just saying, don't sleep on Beppo. It could be. And it could be more than that. He cannot even even really have an adept Sulong form. Yeah, 
That's didn't, true. didn't they say that yeah. the trade for it or something? He hasn't been there for years, apparently. Like, mm-hmm. he's been with Law for... Yeah, Beppo losing that fight 10 out of 10, bro. Yeah. I agree. He's looking pretty yeah. good. I thought Luffy calling for me was funny. For whatever reason, it I didn't re- see it coming. It reminded me back of the <laughs> high. I, re- I knew he was going to do it I, did not. I didn't think about it either. I just, no, it just, he said, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I knew he was going to do it. I he hasn't like, done that in a good minute. I laughed. Yeah, it's been a while since. I, 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 I knew he was going to do it, bro. When was the last time he's done this? Called it's been, for it's me. a gag. It's his gag. I know I'm it talking is about, but gag. is it, was it pre time skip? No, it was Jess Rosa. No, he's, listen. <laughs> he, I, I mean, he technically also. didn't do it on whole kick because the whole point was him, for him not to get meat. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you know, that Osaji thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like, he's probably done it on Wano at some point, bro. When he was in uh, the the prison, Udon, he probably did it then. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Then we cut to the Frankie and Sasuke fight. So who who called that? Last episode. You did that, right? Did, did I? Yeah, I think. No, I think, no it might have been Lawrence. It might have been Lawrence. I don't know. I actually didn't go to show what everyone else is doing, I said. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. No. I was so wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was right about one thing. We'll get to that later. But I was super wrong about the them c- cutting back to Who's Who and Jim Bay. I yeah, I, I agreed with that. Mm-hmm. I really thought we were going to go back to that because his mask came off. Yeah. So that's immediately interest. I mean, maybe the fight's just over, which... It's not. <laughs> I, not. I mean, he's going to at least show like, it. that it is over. Unless we'll you see. see Jinbei running around, then it's like, oh, damn. The one thing I didn't like too much was, uh, what's his name with the Triceratops? Sasaki? Sasaki. Yeah. Sasaki. Sasaki. Yeah. I didn't like his hybrid form. Well, yeah. What did you expect to see? I expected the <laughs> the like the mask. Mm. The mask mm. above the nose and then the face is like human. And then uh. he has like, he just looked like he went. Almost hybrid form. <laughs> like, he, like, just stood up and yeah. just had hands all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that. I felt like, I don't know. It was kind of weird. Oda's imagination is super crazy, though. Bro, this mm-hmm. chapter, like, if you just look at what's <laughs> happening in this island, like, in this area of the island, there is so much insane ridiculousness taking place right now. Mm-hmm. Like, Sasaki and Frankie alone is, like, there's no way, like, in what world could both of these things take place? Or, like, a... Giant cyborg dude with laser beams is fighting a flying triceratops with a like it's like what like that doesn't make sense, sense but it worked it's for Eric, reason. Oda definitely did some type of like mushroom <laughs> <laughs> at one point you think uh, it was it just just like started writing stuff down like, yeah he was taking like African studies and then he was just like oh chill boy <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you know what was funny the. The gifter, that one prominent gifter, we've seen him like eight times now. The uh, the, the one with the arms. Oh yeah, yeah with the like Spider Man. Uh, they were like there. calling Frankie bro and stuff, and it's like Frankie started caring. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie started caring. I'm like, what? Frankie has a soft spot for bad guys and like thugs yeah. because he he was one. It's yeah. just funny, like these dudes, are, like it's just every time I see them helping and like the Straw Hats caring about things that happen, it's like oh, these guys are like the worst people ever, and they just hate <laughs> something. <laughs> like they were fully like, Yo, Kylo's gonna be the guy, like. We'll torture little kids if we have to. And it's still like now it's like, are we good? It's cool. Yeah. I like that Sasaki still has that scar from earlier in the fight. Because yeah. I'd be forgetting that they were fighting earlier. And, like, he still has that scar. I don't remember when he got that scar, in all honesty. Uh, Frankie gave yeah. it to him. I mean, it was all right. Yeah, Frankie gave it to him yeah. a couple chapters ago. I'll tell you this. This fight between Sasaki and Frankie is not better than Senior Punk. And, I mean, Senior Pink. And Frankie, because that was just way better. Uh, That's probably going to be one of Frankie's best fights for the rest of it's, the series. It's but. always going to be the chop up for me, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, Frankie's <laughs> best fight. You think is this chop-a-pa. is over? Huh? I don't think it's over. It looks like no. it might. I mean, it, it shouldn't be. It, it looks like it's over. But I don't think it's over. From what we've learned from these legendary uh, zones, ancient zones. Yeah, they're they're gonna get back. It up. shouldn't be because also too. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. The, uh, uh, senior Pink versus Frankie. Uh-huh. How like Frankie was like going toe to toe with this dude. Yeah, and then Sasaki is obviously a stronger uh, fighter opponent mm-hmm. for Frankie. So the fight should drag on at least that length, and it should be yeah. as dramatic as uh, strenuous as that. Um, at more than that fight, you know? I'll say this: uh, I just it can't. 
What do you mean it can't? It can't be as dramatic because oh, of the scene. The, no, 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 no. It's never yeah. going to get to that, I don't think. Yeah, because there's emotional tie. Well, I really favored strangers. the fact the, uh, that Frankie's eye was missing and he had like the whole uh, Terminator going yeah, on. Yeah, that was great. Bro, that was great. That looked so good. Fra- Frankie in his base form is the best version of, of Frankie. Like, I don't, I, no. the fact that he's fighting him, Sasaki in his, in the iron body suit, in the giant suit, I was like, General Frankie suit, I was like, I right, like, I don't care for that personally. Yeah. Like I unless, never have. Unless he does burning finger. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if he did burning finger, yeah. bro. Oh my if god. If he did, that would be fire, man. Yo, it would. Mobile G Gundam. Also bro. biting, but how, you know. How, now, listen, man, bite. <laughs> how did y'all You've been biting? How did y'all feel about Sasaki's fighting style? <laughs> Yo, bro, I was trying to <laughs> wrap my wrap my head lie, around yo. it. You get it? Come no. on. <laughs> what do you say? What did he say? He was trying to wrap his head around it. All right. We're gonna, <laughs> yo, Marv, cut the show, bro. Cut that out. Cut the show, bro. No, no. Don't cut it out. Just end the episode. <laughs> no, seriously, though. He He's he's reminiscing reminiscent of... What's that one guy with the big teeth? Buffalo from Dress Buffalo Rosa. from Dress Rosa. Yeah. That's who he kind of well, looks like right now. Buffalo yeah. from Dress yeah. Rosa. Yeah. Doflamingo's guy. You know, remember the dude who came with Baby Five? Yeah, to Punk Hazard. His neck was spinning too, he, and that's how he flew. He like grew up with Law for a little bit there. You don't remember Buffalo? Vaguely. Yeah, he Vaguely. he had like a helicopter mustache, no beard. Yeah, it was like hair. A beard. It was like yeah. a, a whole thing, and it would spin. Don't worry about it. He's not important. <laughs> how do you not but remember Buffalo? I don't. Know. It's very reminiscent <laughs> of him uh, to do that. Which Frankie has a good fighting sense too. Like the fact that he knew immediately that his stomach might be his weak point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like just guessed it. Yeah. And then he took all action, sacrificed General Frankie, and then slipped out of it like an actual pilot and then just shot him. Yeah. And I was like, that's the best part of this whole fight. It was like Frankie using that that prowess that he has Is and it? initiating what's going on. Is the, it, it was the best me, part? I thought the best part. Was when Sasaki tried to like blitz him mm-hmm. and he went backwards. <laughs> Yo, I laughed so hard at that. It was so stupid. <laughs> he was like, no. he was like, I did this so that I could get more momentum. <laughs> he was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> Lie. Like, <laughs> no, I honestly thought the best part was the suplex because it reminded me of the senior pink fight. I think anytime Frankie uses these American fighting styles, yeah. they're always yeah. dope. They're always dope. Uh, but no, nah, man, it was definitely if you were to watch this animated and you would have seen him like suplex, that would have been all right. But to see him like get hit, fake him out, jump out of the pilot, and then just look. Up backwards and then shoot him in the stomach up into the bro. That was crazy. No, it was, no, that I was, was dope. like, it was smart. Was, it was, I was, I was like, yo, this Frankie out here stunting. Hopefully, that's just the beginning. Like, and I mean, they've been fighting for a while, but yeah, hopefully, that's it's not over. It's that, better that, not be it's, over because yeah, it should. He should be, be tonight. Like, Sasaki should be stronger. Or like, it's not gonna be over just because yeah, the lo- legendary zones are just. They're just they're just able to get back up, man. Like, think about it. You think that attack is more powerful? Than uh, what Big Mom did to Ulti when she shot her through the stomach. No. Nah, right? No. Ulti no, got back up. Be. It shouldn't be. Ulti got back up. Yeah. yeah. And I'm pretty sure this beam that Frankie did didn't even pierce him. Oh, no, nah, it did. No, nah, it didn't. I'm pretty sure he him. aimed for the, the wound that he gave him, though. It does look like he pierced him. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. But it's it didn't go like if it did pierce we didn't see it go through. Yeah, we it saw, explodes out the back. We seen. Nah, bro, he just hits him. Dude, it explodes out of the back. I mean, I don't think he's done. He bet I. He's listen, not done. He's listen, not done. Listen, this is a Yonko it. crew and Thank territory. You. These are Thank officers. You. Yeah, they bet like Senior Pink. So it was harder. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it shouldn't be. You know? it, they need. I need who's who to get up. I need Sasaki to get up. I need whatever Black Maria is going to do probably next chapter. Like she's going to have to get up from that because I I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be so tight. Yeah. If this is the end of the Flying Six, like even in this chapter, Sasaki was like, "We're like Kaido's crew is renowned because of us. Like we help bump it up." Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, if. Frankie can just take you out like yeah, re- yeah, this yeah. easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're, like they're not gonna. And be you taken had out. help. Like yeah. it's nah, man. They're not gonna be taken out. They better not be. 
I'm gonna be tight. Nah, it wouldn't make sense. It would, just, it would seem like it would to me if it was, or just trying to fit it, wrap things fight, up. Fight was interesting like though, like yeah. the sword being broken. Frankie realizing that he doesn't, He's not he doing can't so fight much, with four so. swords like that. Yeah, you know. I truly wonder, even the spinning, uh, how if Oda is directly shorting this because of the anime is catching up so fast still, because. You think? It might be, man. Like, we've been saying that he's been off-paneling things for a while now. Yeah. And also, it seems like he's just cutting things short, and the pacing seems a bit, little bit faster, which is better. But in some cases, it's like we get the Luffy just falls off the island for no reason, and we didn't see it. Mm-hmm. After he just declared, yo, I'm about to just scrap mm-hmm. and beat him. <laughs> yeah. And he just falls off the island. So, mm. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Frankie fight was cool. Frankie it, fight hopefully was it's not done. Yeah. So we get to the next uh, page, yeah. right? Get back to the Skull Dome, you know, the rooftop, Yamato and Kaido. Mm-hmm. They're clashing a little bit, you know. Yamato reveals the context in which she ate her devil fruit. She was hungry, similar to like Momo and Luffy. Yeah. Which, yeah. Which, yeah. And I guess Ace, if you count that as canon. Mm-hmm. Um, which is cool. Like, I it's like a, that. It's, a, it's a, uh, a little thing he likes to use. It's a little nugget. Yeah. Um... I, what I thought was interesting is Kaido said that he had targeted the fruit. Like, yeah. it was something that he went after mm. himself. We worked hard to get we it. We worked yeah. hard to get Like, it mattered to him. Yeah. So the question is, did he? Did she eat it against Kaido's wishes? Or did he, like, starve her and force her to, like, like I'm going to starve you and put this fruit in the room. And, like, either you eat it so that you could be the person that I want you to be. No, nah, he said it was never intended yeah, for you did, it, did, yeah. did you? Did he? Yeah, he said yeah. never intended for her He said it was it. never intended. So he had it for somebody else. He had it definitely oh. for somebody else. Who then? That I... His oh, real no. son. <laughs> no, his baby, mom, <laughs> his baby moms. Mm. <laughs> Kaido got, like, 14 kids. Nah. Probably. I don't know about all that. Yeah. I don't know about all that. I, think, but I don't know who would it be. For, maybe he's trying to sell it. No, nah, because you know he would want it because he's the beast pirate. I mean, I guess he would want it, but who would he give it to? All his other crew, unless I don't know. Had a, yeah, that's what I'm. Unless he wanted it for Jack, he's like, all right, just eat this mammoth of fruit. Yeah, I'm not too sure, man. Uh, I mean, we see Yamato in yeah. her like I don't even hybrid form. I assume I don't know what this is. At first, when I first saw, I thought Amaterasu mm. from like. Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah, a Firefox, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought Firefox. People are saying it's a like, kitten, which I don't know the mythological kid? backstory of a kitten, other than it's like supposed to ring in a new age and take over, like overthrow a evil ruler. So mm-hmm. like I can see that with yeah. Chinese and Japanese folklore, but like I don't know enough about Kieran's to say that. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> so what'd you guys think overall of the chapter? Eh, it was it was okay. Yeah. It was a it was it was cool. I like the Frankie stuff just because I like seeing Frankie. Um the Sasaki thing was hilarious to me. Yeah, uh, that was funny. Um I was a little mm-hmm. underwhelmed by Yamato's fruit and I was kind of upset that we didn't get a name because like Oda be pissing me off. Like, <laughs> like yo, at this point, at this point, I expect every person we see when they do their fruit, like tell me what the fruit is, and tell me what the bounty is for this person if they have a bounty. Like I yeah. don't know why he be holding these things off. That just annoys me. So overall, I'd probably say like a six. Yeah. Yeah. Like what six. about you, Lawrence? I mean, I mean, I wasn't underwhelmed. Uh, by her ability, because to me, I immediately when I saw her ability, I was thinking mythical Ch- Zohan. Mm-hmm. Some type of like uh, ancient or whatever, like Firefox, something kind of like I don't want to say magical, but mysterious power mm-hmm. to it. So I thought of like um, great power with the base. So I'm like, oh, there's another one. Like you have a dragon, and now you have his daughter, which is something special too. So to that, I was like, that's pretty dope. Mm-hmm. And the chapter, um, uh, for the last, I would kind of say a six two, mm-hmm. but I um, I'm more you know I'm more stricter with my ratings, but I do like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For me, uh, it was a four. Mm. A four? Yeah, yeah, you know me. Mm. Like, I already bashed Oda and out. <laughs> uh, four out of ten. My takeaways was I enjoyed seeing Queen stunt, 
And it makes me think. Uh, half a second of a chapter, bro. Can you relax? <laughs> we didn't do Jesus. anything. Hey, yo, can I, can I, can I, <laughs> he said queen. He didn't do anything. So this is what. Let me finish. <laughs> no, this guy, yo. Know? Right. So what I'm I was about to say was that we've seen uh, all the claws that he had before in the last chapter. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking if one of those claws are shooting beams, then most of the beam, uh, claws are shooting beams. So he's probably looking like a stage light right now, <laughs> like, <laughs> like shooting like six of them <laughs> at the same time. And it's really impressive because then it makes Sanji look even better, even though I've been bashing Sanji. Mm-hmm. It makes it seem like Sanji's handling this so well that mm-hmm. he's kind of taking it easy, mm-hmm. which is nice. Uh, when we got to the Zoro part, just get him out of the cast already. Yeah. Like, don't waste panels. Just be like, oh, he's fixed, and then we see him next panel getting up. Uh, seeing him in the cast kind of, like, infuriates me because Zoro's the coolest, baddest dude, and probably, you know, he's probably, like, the third baddest dude in his whole arc right now that we want to see stunt. Mm-hmm. You know, it's Kaido, it's Luffy, and then it's Zoro for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to see Zoro do his thing. He's always been that guy. Um, then when we go into the Frankie and Sasaki fight... It it didn't. I think we got spoiled with the ch- Chapapa. I don't know his real name, but Chapapa is like the thing. <laughs> That's guy really I don't yeah, remember his name either. Chapapa um, sounds legit. When we when we go into the Sin Year Pink fight, and it was just so good. Like the backstory mm-hmm. was so fresh and so dramatic, and it explained why he looks so stupid to us. It gave it purpose. It gave it meaning. And then Frankie looked cool because he was in his best form, which mm-hmm. is the original form. Mm-hmm. We don't get that here. We get Oda's imagination, but it's also Frankie can't take Sasaki in his base form, so he has to use General Frankie. I get it, but do I like it? Mm. Nah. Mm. Like, I would have liked to see Frankie himself, instead of using General Frankie, to have a new type of weapon that he worked on. Because I think anytime we've seen Frankie mm-hmm. do something, we always expect him to pull something new that he created out of his pocket. And I felt like if he did that and showed us something really cool, like Genos type vibes, mm-hmm. we would have been like, ooh, this is going to be good. Mm-hmm. But we didn't get that. We just got, hey, my sword's broken. I should have trained more with a sword. And um, you know, I have to go through these tactics because he's a legendary zone. I get it. Mm. So the reason why I gave it a four is because we do get to the Yamato versus Kaido fight. I forgot who called that it was going to be the end of it. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah, good call yeah. out. I was upset because I feel like we've been, you already, you already hear it from me when I say Kaido happens to be this bland character where his dialogue comes very few and he doesn't really say much. And if he does say something, it's sort of the same things. And I feel like Oda keeps rehashing this same conversa- this conversation between Yamato and Kaido. And they're just saying the same things in different ways. And I'm just like, I'm tired of hearing about this struggle that you guys have had for so long. Like, I get it. Show us in a flashback why these things are happening. Why did you guys disagree? Stop telling me that you don't mess with each other. And stop giving your model this basis where she goes, I have to fight for this country. I'm Odin, I'm Odin, I'm Odin, I'm Odin, I'm Odin, I'm Odin. I'm, Odin. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, man, like I'm tired of that. Like I need <laughs> some depth from her now mm-hmm. because yeah. she's starting to show those same Kaido like symptoms where like she, I want her to be the next straw hat because of, you know, uh, obviously what she represents. But at this point, she's not adding anything more because Carrot is the same way. Like Carrot hasn't added anything more either. Mm-hmm. And even though we wanted her to join. So I still think Carrot joined. When I looked at it too, I agree with Sebastian. Like I would have liked to see if it was a mythical tiger, which we were all wrong about. And if it is Amaterasu, that's pretty cool. But I think saving that description for next chapter is kind of like an easy, lazy way to get readers excited for the next chapter. Mm -hmm. And that's not what's supposed to happen. What's supposed to happen is these two talking to each other are supposed to be, oh, we want to know what happens next, like Mm -hmm. what their conversation is going to entail next. And we didn't get that. We got the same rehash conversations. And I don't know if a lot of people agree with me. And that's cool if you don't. But 
I write sometimes, and like I like to see dialogue that means something. That's why Senior Pink was so great because his dialogue between him and Frankie explained why he was the way he was. It didn't tell. It didn't take us like what 10, 12, 14 chapters for us to hear the same thing over and over again. It's it's tiresome. So this was definitely one of the worst chapters in recent memory for me. Uh, but overall, I love Frankie, man. I just wish mm-hmm. he stunned it like he stunned it before. I actually agree with almost everything you said. It's rare that that happens. Like, <laughs> it's very rare. Yeah, it's very rare. Because I didn't gain anything other than... What did you gain from that? <laughs> the, only, the only thing I gained was... What the, do you gain from that? Was my middle, little mini theory that Kaido maybe forced her to eat the fruit, but apparently I was wrong about that anyway. Yeah. So, like, I don't I mean, her fruit looks cool. She kind of looks like... A, an adult version of Carrot in Too Long. Yeah, that's, um, that's messed up. I'm Team Carrot, so you know me. And like you were saying about Yamato lacking depth and lacking anything, it's like, yo, this is why I don't care for her joint. Like, mm. her being a badass female is like cool, but like, unless you like, when Robin joined, it was something. Yeah. It was like, yo, this is super dope. Like, if Yamato joins, it's not gonna be. I feel like there's no anything. little details either. And well, what I mean by that mm-hmm. is. When we first saw Robin, she was calling, like, Usopp, like, Long Nose yeah. and Sanji, like, Cook. She never really called them anything until mm-hmm. she was saved, mm-hmm. and then she started calling them names yeah. Yeah. by their names because she officially became a crew member. Mm-hmm. I, Yoda can write a gag for her. Yeah, I just don't like, know what it'll be. I feel like there, there's just nothing to her. The same way there's nothing to Kaido. Like, all we know about Kaido is Moria's arrival. He's pretty cool, and he's strong. That's it. Like, I feel like we know a decent much. amount about Kaido. That's not much, man. There's not much. Personal. There's not much to him. I, I wonder now if the this is probably seeming the time they're going to do is we finally get their flashback. Most likely. I, like, that's how they should have ended the chapter. That's honestly. how they should they should have ended a chapter where, like, she, she, you know, was going through her phases and figuring herself out. And then she read this book. And then she decided to, you know, show me that, like... Stop telling me what happened. Like, show me what happened. Like, it's weird because I don't care for Yamato in the flashback. I just want the Kaido portion of it. Yeah, like personally, but I'm not a Yamato weird. guy. She's, yeah, yeah. She's no, kinda, I feel you. Yeah. No, but the chapter four out of ten for me, guys. Like straight up. I I want to know if Oda's gonna do this because we. You see how I just realized we got a we didn't get a flashback for every character in the uh, Desrosa arc, right? We didn't get a flashback for everyone. No, no, nah, like but Gladius we, didn't get one, nah. and, and you know they're I don't in, expect them to. Yeah, yeah I, don't I don't expect. expect them. But are we? Because you see, and I guess for the Big Moms arc, we didn't really get much flashback from anyone except Big Moms mm-hmm. and Katakuri. Katakuri and his sister for a little bit. Like a little bit. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't even a flashback. It was like sorry, oh he he fought. It was oh yeah, it was after yeah. the yeah. fight that we got. But that. it was very small too. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like because Senior Pinks was long. It was like in was depth. It? I'm not saying long, it was, but like it, in was depth. In, it was in one depth. chapter. Yeah, but we got a lot. It was and it wasn't the whole chapter. It was it was long in the sense that it was like in six depth, seven I mean, pages. It, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean like in okay. depth as in like we 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 discovered a lot. Pretty much his whole life. You mm-hmm. understood? Yeah, we did. You know? yeah. Are we gonna get something like that in this um, uh, the Wano arc? Like with any of these? Because remember, a lot of these people too are were their own captains. I think when Oda was writing it, Could. he. He fleshed out Odin's backstory so much and, and then long. brought Roger in, and it was long. It was long. It was long. Uh-huh. But it was great because it gave us exposition. Mm-hmm. It yeah. gave us we answers, and we wanted to see Roger's stunt. We wanted yeah. to see Whitebeard's stunt. I, I'll but, see this. In, in the light of what you're saying, I can see Oda doing backstories for, like, who's who, Sasaki, Ulti, Pit, like, even the Flying Six, even Queen, even King. All within Kaido's flashback. Okay. Like, yes. You know what I mean? Like, I can see that happening. I just don't know if we have time for that. Like, that's a lot. Yeah. That's potentially a lot. He could skip through it the way he did with Odin and the Scabbards, which I would hate. Mm-hmm. I would prefer that you flesh it out and you show why these people are actively loyal to Kaido this way. It's not just that they lost, it's more than that. Yeah. Um, and again, the Yamato Kaido stuff, like, why Why was he with rocks? Why, this, why is Wano important? Why is. Your, why is him and Yamato, Yamato beefing so hard? Like, I, like Larry said, I want to see that more than I want to see rehashed conversations because they've said this thing four different ways now. Yeah, that's and true. this whole, like, yo, I'm Odin, I have hated it from the start. Like, it was funny <laughs> the first time. Like, the first time. Every other time I was like, all right, yo. Like, I don't like characters that have identity crises. 
and crises, crises, no, it's crisis. Cri- no, but the plural, whatever, crises. She crisis. has yeah. one because mm-hmm. you're not Odin, and she keeps saying it, and it bothers me so much. Like, Listen, bro, from, it does. From your logic, if she wants to be referred to Odin, nah, bro. <laughs> <referred> to Odin. <laughs> Listen, bro. All oh right. my god, let her run. Anyway. All I'm saying is, and oh, and the, the Frankie thing, the reason why I think yeah, the fight's yeah. not over is because this fight didn't play out in the way that almost every major Frankie fight plays out, where it's like, I punch you, and then you punch yeah, me, no. and like, my thing, your I think, thing, my I thing, your thing. I think the general consensus is it's not over. It shouldn't be over. Yeah. Any yeah. legendary zones fights, it's just not over. Listen, these fights are over. Wano going down, <laughs> down. Like, I'm. It can't be. it can't even be top, like, 10 to me if this is... If we did all, we wrote this many chapters for dudes to get a couple panels, bro, and lose. Mm-hmm. And these are Yonko exact. Like, come on, yeah, come on. I get you. It's a tough chapter to digest. I think a lot of people would. I I, I really disagree when people go, oh, but it's about the story and you got to appreciate it. Like, nah, like when a dude is just not doing his job correctly, <laughs> like you got to call him out on it. Like, it. I feel like that's appropriate. Like. There's some misses in this chapter. There are. And I feel like they're pretty obvious. Like, I don't like, I don't like, I just need more. I'm still shocked I, you I, was like, you know what it is? You know? I don't need, <laughs> I don't need more. I, I need what I'm used to. Mm-hmm. Let, that's a better way to put it. I need what I'm used to. Because what I'm used to is great storytelling, great writing. And for some reason, it just felt like he's dropped the yes. ball a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why no, did I, I feel like touching? I felt bro. like touching my nipples <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when that came on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, but that was the chapter, man. That was the chapter. Yeah. It's always good to see Frankie, though. Yeah, it is good to see Frankie. What I think is going to happen though next chapter is probably. Oh yeah, next chapter. What's the predictions? It's I'm, break week. Oh my god, I forgot. It Again? Oh, it's break week. I didn't even see that. Yeah, Again. Uh, We'll save predictions for next week. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll save predictions for next week because I think we we got a couple more minutes. Not a couple more minutes, but a little bit more. Um, all right, so I, I got some questions for you guys. Cool. It was it was a question from one of the people on TikTok. Uh, also, shout out to everybody that's actually uh, going to our YouTube and subscribing. That is amazing. Uh, TikTok, we're doing pretty well. We just hit over five thousand likes. Hey. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's like cool, people cool. really p- people really gravitating towards it. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of other. I think somebody else congratulated us on YouTube. Said keep grinding, like we love your show. There was a couple of people that did that. So shout awesome, out to you awesome. that, that to people that yeah oh, man that keep just watching us and mm-hmm. providing us with that support. Um, so one question was for me. And I really thought about it. And I was like, man, what can I ask these guys that's just super juicy? (laughs) And this is what I came up with. First question. What do you think would have happened on Whole Cake Island if Zoro came through and saw Sanji hitting Luffy the way he did? Oh. Mm. How, How does that play out in your mind? What do you think happens? And what is the end result? Me and Sebastian, we we talked a we little, talked about, a this, little bit about this in the past, and yeah. this is and that's where Oda, because it's a, that's why he's paying attention to his characters. He knew that he couldn't have Zolo there. Of course, of course, because yeah, no, no, he of course he can't have Zolo there. I don't know if Sanji comes back from that, like in Zolo in Zolo's eyes. Yeah, like what would Sanji, like what would Sanji have to do to get back from that? Because he we the same the whole Usopp thing, mm-hmm. you know, because it was different. Like they, he understood why. Yeah, right. This situation is different with Sanji, you know? Yeah. Like pretty much because Sanji also was there and he agreed with Zolo in that aspect. Mm-hmm. And then and then pretty much so like him doing that, like Zolo, I think, and also too their their old like rift, you mm-hmm. know, pretty much it would have been way different. Like uh, I I think Zolo might have tried to take Sanji out. You think he would take Sanji? He would have probably tried. What about like, you? Luffy would have had to stop him. What about you, Seb? I, so, there's, like, levels to this. Um, the basis level, like, that first level is, like, yes, Zolo's clearly not going to tolerate that kind of disrespect to Luffy, where he's hitting him and, and everything. And Zolo being there, like, I can even see Sanji not doing it out of, I don't want to say fear, 
but for knowing that it'll get taken to the next level. Like he knew that he could push Luffy away and still exit. If Zolo's there, he he knows it's not just gonna end here, where it's like now, like you know what I mean? Like Zolo's gonna do something about it the way that Nami couldn't, right? So I don't think he would do it. But if he did, if he did, and that's the question, they fighting <laughs> and Zolo with it. <laughs> so, um, but I'll say this. I don't agree with Sanji having to do some sort of like over the top like apology because of it. Because even Zolo would know or understand that this is more similar to Robin and Nami leaving the crew mm-hmm. than it is what Usopp was doing. Yeah. Usopp had disrespected Luffy in a way that like you can't do that to your captain. Sanji, his goals ultimately were the same as Robin abandoning them so that they could be saved. And this, Sanji's doing the same for them slash Zeph. And they, as long as that information comes out, yeah. I think it gets understood. You know what I mean? He was wrong for doing it, obviously. They would, like I said, they would fight. Zolo would win. As, as I would love to see Sanji versus Zolo for real, for real. But I think people look at it like it's the Usopp thing. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah, closer yeah. to the Robin and Nami thing. Like when Nami left with Arlong mm-hmm. and when Robin left with the CP9. Like it's closer to those situations to me. Mm-hmm. So like no, Zolo was sense. willing to take Robin back. He was, he was willing to say, I think, did, Us- did Nami stab Usopp? Or was that fake? That was fake. That was fake. That was fake, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he, either way, they were willing to forgive those things. I think he would even be willing to forgive Sanji hitting Luffy for two reasons. Because Zolo has shown one even though they don't like each other, he understands how vital he is to the success of the crew. And two, it's like Luffy, he's more loyal to Luffy, and Luffy's going to be like, yo, Sanji's coming back. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's going to eat it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he already said his gripes about, like, yo, you left and did this, and now Big Mom's here, and he hasn't complained about it. Like, she, he literally brought Big Mom to whole, to, to Wano. And Zolo hasn't even complained about that because it's like, yo, I just have to accept that this is what it is now. Yeah. So I don't think it gets as blown up as most people do because I've seen it online all the time about you know, if Zolo was there, it'd be this and that. Mm-hmm. And it's like it would for like a couple for like a chapter or two, and then it would get figured out, and it would be like, all right, this is what it is. Yeah. So but, he, but Sanji get that ass though. Yeah, hold up, hold <laughs> That's up. what I mean. It'd be close or whatever, but Sanji's heart wouldn't be in it. And Zolo would heart would be totally in it, so he'd probably mm. get washed. No, I agree with everything you're saying. You're, you're right. One, one thing I'm just thinking when uh, when San, when they find out in the beginning, was it Zolo did not want to go get Sanji back? Like you were saying, forget him. Was it? I'm trying to think. But when they were on was, uh, Mick, the Mick, uh, um, he was posturing. Know. He was out here trying to be like, "Yo, that fool went and got caught up with another Yonko. Forget him." But he, he, deep down, he was trying to go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for me. Yeah. I think it I think the way it plays out I think we we see Luffy get kicked from the top the way Sanji flew up all the way in the air and did his somersault and landed his final kick on Luffy and Luffy like got knocked out for a bit. I think Zoro comes in during that moment in my imagination and we see a shock on his face and he attacks Sanji immediately. And then Luffy you know, obviously gets back up. Sanji's a little bit worried because he's like, Zoro's actually trying to kill me because of what he's seeing right now. He doesn't understand what's got happening. Mm-hmm. And then we see uh, Luffy getting back up and telling Zoro to stop. And then Zoro stops for a second. And here is Luffy out. And then Luffy's obviously not going to talk to Zoro the whole time. He's going to talk to Sanji and then Sanji's going to walk away. Then Zoro's going to complain to Luffy and then Luffy's gonna look back and tell him this: this is what's happening. Well, so they didn't know what was happening. yet. Exactly, yeah. they didn't know what was happening yet, and they had no idea. But Luffy was just determined that mm-hmm. he was gonna come back and he was gonna wait. And I think at that point in time, it would have caused a rift between mm-hmm. Zoro and Luffy. And I think mm-hmm. we would have had this same issue where it's not like the Usopp, but it would have felt like the Usopp. Yeah, because. He was like, I will even challenge you right now. Like, I'll leave the crew or I'll take over. And I think at that point, Luffy would have had to deal with Zoro. 
And like Luffy has no idea of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Like Luffy can't say anything because he doesn't know what's going on. So Nami's probably going to have to like try to come in and like. That's not going to work. And it's not going to work. <laughs> and then Luffy's probably going to end up fighting Zoro. And Zoro's probably going to take him out. And then he's probably going to go after Sanji after that. And then from there on forth, the story unfolds and Zoro probably gets captured. In my opinion, he probably gets captured. But yeah, that's she how had her, I, her whole army come out. Yeah, that, right? yeah. like Zoro's probably going to take on the army instead of Luffy because he already tore up Luffy. And then he'll get captured instead of mm -hmm. Luffy. Um, that's how the story plays out in my mind. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you this. It would unless... Zoro gets told that that happened, he would forever go against Sanji. And I think it kind of sounds better than what actually happened. <laughs> but honestly, the one who looked like he was hurt the most out of it is Nami. Nami. Yeah, yeah. Not, Nami would have been she so... she slapped Sanji, bro, yeah. I was like, damn, there was like... Like when Sanji came back and she hugged him and she looked up at him, mm -hmm. I was like, yo, damn, this was like an actual like... Like, I'm not going to say there's a ship there, but that, that was, like, the first time I was like, yo, there might actually be a ship Yeah, between the two of them. All right, let's go to the next question. Uh, next question is uh, something that Sebastian brought up during the week, and we talked about it on the phone, but I was like, no, we got to save this for the... I don't even remember. Uh, if all the Shichibukai decide to oh, take yes. on Kaido <laughs> at the same time with all their crews, would they win? Well, the original question was the original seven. So Weevil and Law and Buggy aren't in it. So it's... So you're saying... Yeah. Mihawk. Mihawk. Mihawk, Moria. And his crew. Kuma. <laughs> <laughs> his crew. It's all swordsmen. Mm -hmm. Kuma, uh, Doflamingo, um, Boa Hancock. Mm -hmm. uh, Jimbe. Jimbe. Yeah. 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 You said Moria already? Yeah, I said Moria. Crocodile. And, crocodile. And, yeah. I forgot to say Crocodile. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's about it, I think. No. Wait. Kuma. Yeah. Yeah, I said Kuma. You said Kuma? Yeah, yeah. Do you think they could take on Kaido right now in his army all together and win? Again, they get, like, Doflamingo gets Virgo and Treble, Diamante, and Monet and everything. And Moria gets Ors in the Shadows, and Hancock gets the Kuja Pirates. No, Kuma doesn't get the Revolutionaries, because <laughs> Lionel brought that up. And also, okay. how would you match it up? That's the that's the real question. Do they win? How would you match it up? Me, I think, I think the what's gonna happen is Boa and Mihawk are gonna have to fight Kaido together, <laughs> and then everybody else is just gonna have to shoot it out. <laughs> Does Doflamingo beat King? Do you have Doflamingo fight King? Cause Doflamingo's the ultimate fodder fodder controller and yeah. and like like kind of got thirty thousand people and gifters and all that. You kind of like you might need Dofi to birdcage and start parasiting need, some people. You would need like Doflamingo, numbers got to get parasited. Doflamingo into, you know I mean? and Moria to take out yeah like the, mass the groups and yeah, Hancock. Yeah. But and even Kuma could Kuma can Yurus's shock oh, yeah, take crocodile. out yeah Crocodile too yeah Crocodile too. Listen the. If Mihawk can take Kaido, even if he can just stall Kaido for an extended period of time, which I believe he could, they'd probably take it, bro. Because to me, Hancock's a bad matchup for like 90% of people in the game, and like, King ain't no exception. It's on the estimation of Bella. You need no, to no, stop. no, I'm saying she's a bad yeah. matchup for 90% of other people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're going to fall like, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. bro. <laughs> no, like, bro, gonna, gotta, if I'm lining it up, if I had to do lineups, Mihawk versus Kaido Dolo, yes, I know I'm crazy. Mihawk versus Kaido Dolo. I'm not even saying Mihawk can win, but I think he can fight Kaido relatively evenly for an extended period of time. I yes, I do believe that. Because of who he should be yeah, and what he should Same. get to. The yeah. world's greatest swordsman. I would do Dofi versus King. Who knows if he wins it, but to me, from what I've seen, like Luffy fighting Dofi kind of means that he's probably stronger than King. But whatever. I could be wrong. Hancock versus Queen, that's like the worst matchup for Queen in the world because he's a perv and it's Hancock. <laughs> then it's like, do you do Jinbei versus Jack? Do you have Jinbei fight Husu again? You got to you know go I mean? Jinbei versus Husu. Yeah. No. I want to see Virgo versus Husu. Like, that's what I want to see that person. No, yeah, it would be Jinbei so versus dope. Jack. I'll do Jinbei versus Jack. Virgo versus, Virgo versus that dude would be dope. It would be cool. It would Wait, just look cool. Uh, Pico cool. fighting. 
One of the Flying Six, Sasaki. Wait, is also is Drake still part of the? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got to do with Drake and Hawkins and Apu and yeah. the Numbers and the Gifters. It's a lot. It's a lot. We got to run through this question because also too, if you're going with the original Drake, like you know, Drake wasn't part of the original. He joined them after. If you want to go yeah, that way, I the mean, original set. Listen, you know, uh, so situation. it's from, Flying Five, just, bro. Just from looking on the outside, so we can get to the next question. What do you think? Uh, I'd say it's possible. The, 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 to me, the biggest thing is how do they take out Kaido, but then you have Mihawk. Mm. To me, he should be able He's to the, fight. The yeah. great equalizer. Um, yeah. I think, Cause to I me, think they win. Lot. I think they that's win. a lot. Seven, seven you know, strong situations. And like, you know why I think they win? That should be, yeah, that should be They enough. have too many people that can take people out yeah. like this, yeah. and they have Kuma. Who can take away the damage yeah. that I'm anybody? Like, even if Mihawk gets chipped by Kaido, mm. Mi- Kuma could just come in and be like, "All right, bro, round two. and like do that however many times and until we can get until we get everybody out of here. And Kaido's it's all of us versus Kaido. And you guys are not counting Blackbeard, right? No, it was the original seven. Oh, original seven. Okay, all right, y'all walling. Yeah. <laughs> but- <laughs> Kaido this definitely. Is a look at what Luffy Kaido, and company are doing, yeah, man. Saying, look at what he's talking about. Kaido definitely taking them out. And the only thing we gotta be concerned about is Birdcage, but we'll move on. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot. Sleeping on me, Hawk. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, question three: If you could have any type of hockey in real life, what? Which one would you have? <sighs> wow. Observation. Yeah. I feel like it would help what the most you? in regular life. What you need armament for, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he could become a boxer. He could do anything with armament. Yeah. <laughs> he could he he make the lead. You want to be a running back. He could be a running back. Stiff, even now. His stiff arms would kill people. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Henry already uh, got armament. One. The most convenient one probably would be observation. Especially observation? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm trying it's to got to be. You got to be like... But... <laughs> <laughs> So, see, that feels, yeah. It would be, it would definitely be King's disposition. You oh, think? wow. Conquer's hockey. You think so? <laughs> or observation. Observation's really good because you can see ahead of time. You can yeah. see. No, you can do it. You can sense. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot you can do with observation. If you yeah. can get to like future sight levels, like you could do a lot with that. Yeah. yeah. Like, the only thing is, I want control of it. I can't be out here just like Kobe in it out during the ring for a while. Listen, you gotta, no, you gotta put thinking, yourself in situations. Wait, wait, I'm thinking, or right, for the scenario, you're not at the, the, the observation the might be too much. It, the, <laughs> observation might be too like like if you're chilling with like a shawty or like, <laughs> and all of a sudden like, st- like you know she gonna fart, <laughs> and you're just you like, have to activate it, bro. It's not like you just have it on. That's 24/7. what I'm saying. I, I have to have I would control have it on twenty four seven. Why? This is why he kills Marco. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Next next question. I'm going observation though. Yo, low key, I'm probably going conquer his hockey. What is that? How is that what? gonna help He's you going, in real life? Yo, yo, listen, man. Controlling animals and knocking people listen, out. Like, what are you doing? If I ever it? go to a job interview, you're gonna get really mad one day, and people are gonna be driving, and you're gonna knock them out, <laughs> nah, and like they're gonna die, and that. it's gonna be your fault. <laughs> yes, yeah, <seriously>. weak people. <laughs> What? If they die, he's, he's they gonna, die. He's gonna, become, on, he's gonna become a vigilante. Listen, <laughs> I can knock them out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. I'm not. What I'm trying to say is, like, if I went to a job interview, it's too dangerous. And man. I'm just like, y'all want eighty thousand dollars? <laughs> <laughs> it's some waffle fries. Some waffle fries. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he's like, "You're right." <laughs> Listen, yeah. man. Here's 90. Here's 90. And get him, yeah, but, but with <laughs> and get him his waffle fries. Why are you <laughs> staring at us? But with observation, you can and do then, so much. Yeah, You could rob a bank. I mean, that's a lot. But like, yeah, you could use rob observation. Rob a bank for me real quick with your observation. Yeah. You can see where everybody's going and everything. Whatever. It's a lot. You can do stuff. You can bet on stuff. Yo, you could be like, you yo, get he's going to make this free throw. Before you get to a fight, you can judge it, like, how much you could knock this dude out or not. Nah, it's definitely observation. You got to go out. In regular life, you got to observation. But obviously, the arm it, though, you wouldn't need observation. You just knock them straight out. Like, right? <laughs> just, unless burger. unless yeah, you got a chin, that's, bro. That's called choosing violence. <laughs> <laughs> we don't choose violence on yeah. that show, Lawrence. Which, it's so, one actually, piece. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's one piece. The whole show's about You're about fighting. to give people one piece. <laughs> No, two piece now. Nah, get this one piece back. <laughs> <laughs> Only need one. What is it? Everybody gets one. Everybody, everybody gets one. One punch man and everybody. Jeez.
<laughs> Lawrence so, would try to become a superhero if he had Yeah, he really bro. would, bro. He'd be like, I could be Batman. But he only goes he, he becomes Batman, but like only at night. Also, <laughs> shout out, shout out to One Piece for outselling Batman all the time. <laughs> we did it! We, we did hold it! On, hold on, hold on. <laughs> He's like, Batman, I'm getting raped. Wait till nighttime. <laughs> Wait till nighttime. <laughs> Wait till the sun comes down, baby. I got He's you. like, what? I'm getting raped now. <laughs> Alright, I can't with that. Shout out to Trey Rags, man. It makes no sense. And Lawrence is just sitting there with like a do-rag on. Wait until nighttime. Alright, next question. Uh, Probably be the... the, I'm going to just do... I don't know which one I should pick. You oily, man. Just ask both. (laughs) (laughs) Can Boa Hancock be gear for Luffy and Dressrosa? Year four of Luffy and Dressrosa? Yes, Luffy's just such a bad matchup for her. Like they're, they're not themselves, I guess. They're just bloodthirsty trying to fight each other. Yeah. Wait, does Boa Hancock beat Gear 4 of Luffy? Can she beat Gear 4 of Luffy? I don't know how much can damage she can take. Can she just beat take? Luffy she's at fast, the point though. where Dressrosa is? She's fast, though. Like She's super fast. Well, if you think about it, right? According to, what was it, the movie we saw? Um, mm-hmm. uh, the Bullet movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right? His whole thing was his use of how strong, or his use of um, hockey hardening or arm mill hockey, right? Mm-hmm. And how much she was able to, like, in a way, kick against that. Yeah. And she did she even hockey harden her leg? I think she just used regular hockey. She had black shoes on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but her legs did she were darkened. She might have red shoes on. Her, her um, legs were darkened. So it showed that her, she's that strong that where her regular hockey can battle against... Um, Hockey hardening. I'm gonna go with Luffy, and I don't even think that he's stronger than her. But just because her ability isn't gonna work for her to lose like 70 percent of her fighting arsenal and have to be able to defeat Luffy with hockey. All right, so that's just crazy that you're it's considering true. it 70 percent. It's just probably a convenience. Dude, for her. she uses it in almost every attack. Like it's it's a staple of how she fights, and what? that's not a knock. It's she just it's how she is. For it to not work. And for her to still be a Luffy level opponent, that's how, that's that's a lot. I don't you who can take their devil fruit away and not use it and still be dress Rosa Luffy. Sabo. That's because he, ju- he just no, that's only Hold on, he just got his ability. Wait, he said to, he said take away their ability and see what they that's have. That's only because he, he's I am most not one hundred percent sure that that's true. It's probably true. That's only it's probably I'll tell you if this, he can beat Luffy. If if you took away Dofi's ability. He's not beating Luffy, bro. He beats him. No, he's not. Beats Luffy? During that arc. No, yeah. he's not. Yo, you're out of he your mind. You couldn't even beat Luffy you're, with you're his All right, one, he was hurt. He had Gamma Yo, knife. next question. He wild. Oh, Luffy wasn't ne- fighting next all the question, way to them? He wild. Yeah, yeah, we wild. talked about organ wild. damage. Go on. Oh, so Luffy wasn't you should fighting probably from, wild. De- you should. from the beginning of Death I'm going to give you organ end. damage. And then we going to fight. And when I whoop that ass, you going to know what Dopey was doing. People fight with organ damage every day being one piece. Yeah, name one. And they're no, 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 <laughs> These are like these are like the elites of the elites. Let me ask you this: way. Uh, Luffy didn't have organ damage against Rob Lucy. No, no, no. That's Lawrence, not- Lawrence, no. he was called. No. Lawrence, you know who had organ fight. damage? Whitebeard. One of the most insanely idiotic <laughs> things I've ever heard. Listen, Whitebeard had organ damage. He lost a black beard, bro. That's that's that's, the, that's what organ damage does. Whitebeard was that's already That's what organ damage. Because of was, organ damage. No, he, lost he was part of his brain. No, he that was, is organ damage. He was dying already from his sickness. What's the next? Question, he played on dying at that war for you. Walling out, bro. bro. What you just said. <laughs> Luffy. Is one of the most insanely idiotic things I've ever heard. Whitebeard was already dying from his sickness at the war. Whitebeard played on dying from that war at the game. Okay, don't matter. But at the end of the day. Dofi couldn't move, and he's a mobility fighter. Dude. Like, he's a mobile they, fighter. They don't, him and Lana don't realize how limited Doflamingo was. Super limited. After the organ damage. Like, he was getting speed blitzed by Luffy in gear two when he was speed blitzing Luffy before that. But why was Doflamingo the one mentioning how tired Luffy was and not the other way around? Like Luffy was looking, Luffy no, 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 no. What I mean, by, what I mean by that is like Luffy oh, was throughout that man. fight was looking more fatigued than Doflamingo was. Where Doflamingo even brought out like you're you're exhausted. You can't you can barely fight anymore. Yeah, Doflamingo's fine. So if his dog organ damage he wasn't fine, he, he, he was repairing no, himself no, every no, chance he you, got. But do you remember talking about how Doflamingo was calling out Luffy like that's because you, Doflamingo you're, 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 different. He he's said, stronger he than Luffy. He even said Luffy's that's pop. That's the point. Luffy's pop was even diminishing. Like his Dude. strength and speed was diminishing during He's that fight. He's stronger than We him. understand that That's Luffy why. has a fatigue issue when it comes to Gear 4. But you can't tell me right now that Doflamingo was just okay. 
Like he he literally was like twenty no, percent of himself. I think that you guys. I think that's a no, too low. I think you guys are playing the fact that the organ is uh, was tr- uh, played more effect in the fight than it did. I think you guys. Are, I think you're saying. Yo, again, bro. Yo, play can play. you show me your yo, heart and yo, your stomach? No, no. But you see, don't forget. Throughout that fight, wasn't like, oh my goodness, I killed my dog no, damage, or like I couldn't try to do this attack. Like Law, you, you ever saw, had a stomachache? Well, you know, well, Law, right? Uh, no, hold on. No. Have you ever had a stomach you, virus? Did you see? Did you see Dolphin ever struggling to use his ability in that fight? Yo, remember when no, I had no. hand for the mouth? No, no. Imagine was me fighting str- like that. No. But answer my question: <laughs> Does Dolphin Vigo struggle at all to use his ability at all during that fight? Yo, no, he wasn't. That's just a testament to how strong Dolphin is. That's it. Or, or oh my God. The, the attack, yes, it affected him, but not to the great degree that you guys think where it was the f- deciding factor in the fight. Because you guys believe it, it was the deciding factor in the fight. It was. He w- no, Luffy it would not have defeated him if it didn't happen. I don't think that's true. 100% believe I don't think that. that's true. 100%, 100% believe, believe, believe that. So you think that, you think that Luffy coming all the way down from the top and charging up at Doflamingo, he wasn't just going to move if he could? Yeah, because he be- also, he... Doflamingo? No, right? no Doflamingo like, Dofl- 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 couldn't get out the way because Luffy was too fast for no, his for current beginning. state, and he had to do everything he could with his strings, which Luffy had more no. hockey built into that punch no. than his strings. As soon as and Luffy lost. whipped out Gear 4, he was showing that he was speed blitzing. Uh, but why? Right, what what no, happened before no, that? No, Gama but Knife no. happened before Seba- that. But Sebastian, but it wasn't like he couldn't move physically. He didn't see it. He didn't Bro, see it. No, because remember, I showed you this. I showed you when Luffy Lawrence, dropped. No, Lawrence, when Luffy he dropped, might, he might have been going in the face. He might have been getting no, speed no, blitz. No, like how can he hockey no, hard in his face? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, no. All right, yo. Anyway, let's end it there. Uh, thank you to everybody that tuned in to episode seven. We greatly appreciate you. Marv just yelled at us to get going. Um, <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, we do have Patreon. We have our Discord. Uh, also. Uh, Subscribe, follow us on TikTok if you want. Um, and overall, thank you guys again. Wonderful for joining us. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Ah.